Howdy, howdy, everybody. HTEDC here. Coming at you this uh, Saturday morning, starting off our weekend. Hope everybody's doing well. Today, I want to tip my first open tag. I've been seeing all my fellow brethren out here uh, with these open tags, and I said, HT, let's see if uh, let's see if you can come up with something uh, fruitful for an open tag. Full disclosure, it's kind of going to uh, kind of going to uh, tail off a little bit of what Boston Blade Review did, but I'm going to take it a little uh, a little different area. Uh, Boston came up with uh, three knives, one folder, one modern, one fixed blade for seven days in the wilderness, uh, in the wild, and I'm going to take mine just a. Uh, we're going to spin off of that. Uh, take a left just a little bit and change that up. <clears throat> Excuse me. First thing, uh, I've been getting a couple of questions uh, about uh, how I'm doing. Uh, I try not to try not to harp on that, so it's going to be short and sweet. Uh, I did have a uh, did have a uh, major ankle surgery, and uh, yesterday was my two week checkup. Uh, so I am in a nice walking boot now i went from uh first two weeks they uh, coming out of surgery you're in a hard cast uh, you wake up in a hard cast for two weeks and anyway long story short they uh cut off that hard cast yesterday and for the next two and a half months uh, i will be in this uh, air cast walking boot the whole uh the whole uh, recovery is uh 12 weeks three months uh, from the surgery I had, uh, if everything goes well, it's uh, you should be back in a shoe, uh, regular shoe, and walking in uh, 12 weeks. So, for for those of you that uh, sent the prayers and uh, asked me questions in the comments, uh, how am I doing? I'm doing well. Uh, like I said, transition to a walking boot now. You'll probably see uh, that's my dog Abby in the background. Uh, she may make a cameo in here ever every now and then she just ate breakfast she's going over there probably to get her some water and uh, some hard food but anyway uh yeah I i'm doing well and thank you for heartfelt thank you for all the comments and the questions on that but yeah we're in a walking boot now and uh, we're gonna get there so anyway enough of that uh where i'm gonna take this thing today is i want to know if you were I don't know if you guys have ever seen that show. Some of you guys probably have uh, with the two brothers called Dropped, but they're dropped in remote locations for, you know, uh, X amount of time and they only get to, you know, have certain things on them. I'm not going to get that uh, crazy and all with it, but what I want to know is if you have just the weekend, say from Friday night till Monday morning so you got to make it two full days and three nights in the wild in the wilderness with five things plus the clothes on your back you can only take five items and all right guys let's not get cute I said we're dropped dropped off in the wild so I know some of you say well I'm gonna take my truck I could sleep in my truck I could turn the heat on it no you're gonna get dropped off in the woods, in the wild, and you've got to make it a weekend, and you can take five things. And out of those five things, I got one more stipulation. Out of that five, one of them has to be a knife. After all, most of us here uh, is going to participate in this are knife channels. So I, uh, I want to see your knife. If you can only take one knife, I don't care. It can be a butter knife up to a machete, one, for that weekend. And also, you have to show it on air. So your one knife, I want to see it. We want to see it. Um, what I'm trying to do is just make you think. If uh, it made me, th it's made me think some things that I don't have that I really would have liked to had. You know, if, if if I was in this situation, I had to really go through this. And okay, so I will say a third stipulation is you have to have it. You have to own it. So, you know, let's not get crazy and say, you know, stuff that you don't have on your person right now. 
if you had somebody said, hey, go home, you got an hour, get five things and, and, and we're off for this journey. What are the five things you're picking up? And one of which has to be a blade. So that's the criteria. And I'm gonna tell you what, uh, I'll get it started off here. And uh, again, it's, it's supposed to make you think because you, it made me think about some things that I'm probably deficient on. So um, if, if I ever had to do this, I don't know why I would, uh, but in a survival scenario or whatever, uh, just things that uh, you'd want to have on hand to uh, pull something like this off. But anyway, here's my, uh, here's what HT went with. The knife that I'm going to take is none other than the Bradford Guardian 3.5. In Magna Cut, it is a not a huge fixed blade, but uh, a hand filling, a very comfortable. Uh, the blade shape on it is uh, pretty universal. Nice drop point. Has a uh, fairly comes down to a fairly fairly thin edge, super pointy, but. Uh, Anybody that knows me knows I am uh, a huge Bradford Guardian fan. Uh, they are probably they're probably my favorite uh, fixed blade, uh, USA for sure. Uh, U.S. manufactured fixed blade. I love Bradford. I love their products. Love the people, uh, the customer service. Think they're great. You'll see more of those. Uh, you'll see more Bradfords on my videos, I'm sure. But my choice for the woods. For a weekend now, I'm not, I don't have to stay a week. I don't have to stay a month. I got to make it two days and three nights. I'm taking this right here as my knife, the Bradford Guardian 3.5 in Magna Cut. All right, HT. Oh, give me just a second, guys. Four more things, HT. What else you taking? You got to make your uh, weekend in the wild. Well, second thing I'm taking, voila. I am taking a windproof lighter. At some point, I'm definitely uh, gonna need to make some fire. Uh, I'm gonna, at minimum, I'm gonna need to cook. Uh, may need it depending on what the weather is i didn't specify what the weather was outside but i uh, may have to make a fire uh, water to sanitize with heat heat up water whatever a multitude of reasons uh man needs fire and you and i'm definitely want the capability of fire uh, for my weekend so number two item windproof lighter number three uh, for my weekend in the wild some high quality h2o ht is going to bring a 12 pack of water so i don't think i have to tell you guys all the uses for uh, water uh, I didn't specify if there would be running water, clean water, what have you. Uh, I get to bring five things of my choosing. I'm bringing water, 12 pack. So I will be able to cook. I will be able to sanitize. I will be able to drink. Uh, worst case scenario, you can go a weekend without food. And by the looks of me, I probably could go a lot longer. You can't say that I did. But we have water. So, can't go without water. HT's bringing a 12 pack of good old H2O. Which brings me to my fourth thing. And these two, I'm not going to show. I actually could show my fifth one if I turn this camera around because I'm looking at it over in the corner. But 
The fourth thing I'm going to bring, you'll just have to use your imagination. HT, believe it or not, doesn't own a tent right now. I have either uh, given them away or they're dry rotted on me and I've had to throw them out. So HT, for his fourth item, uh, is going to bring a pop-up ground blind. That's right. Good old deer pop-up deer blind. Um, that's going to be my uh, that's going to be my shelter. If it rains, uh, it gets windy. Elements uh, not as good as uh, probably a tent, good comfy tent. But uh, I will be out of direct elements, and again, I got to make it a weekend. So HT is going to bring a pop-up ground blind, and it makes also HT say, uh, "Why don't you own a tent?" You, know, you need to fix that. Can't even, you know. A, I haven't been able to physically go camping or anything, so it hasn't been a really a problem for uh, uh, several years now. But uh, regardless, it's kind of surprising to me that I don't own a tent. Uh, so, ground blind, deer, deer blind. That's what we're going to hunker down in. And the last thing on my list, number five. Like I said, I could spin it around here with its camera, but uh, YouTube might not like it anyway. HT is going to take a 22 rifle. Uh, some people may, I know, I'm pretty sure we're going to hear fishing poles, whatever. Uh, I didn't specify if there was water. I didn't specify if there's a creek, a lake, a pond. I just said the wilderness, the wild. With a 22, with a 22 rifle, I can pretty pretty sure I can get me some small game. I can get a bird, uh, something to put in my gullet for uh, for food and substance. So maybe a maybe a rabbit, maybe a good old squirrel, aka a tree rat, um, maybe a dove, um, what have you. But uh, the old trusty twenty two rifle is going to be. Uh, it's going to be my fifth uh, fifth choice to take into the woods with me. So, guys, that's my list. This thing's getting on here at uh, 12 minutes now. But uh, this is my first stab at a open tag, and I uh, love it for you guys uh, to participate. Uh, curious of what, uh, if I made you think a little bit about uh, your gear and uh, your situational gear. But uh, love to hear what you guys uh what you guys take on it. So uh, we're going to get off here. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Uh, always like and subscribe if you like these videos. Uh, love to have you along for the, for the ride with me. And uh, drop me a comment. Love talking to you guys. You've heard that to nauseam. So, but I do. I really do. I love talking to you guys. So that being said, HT is going to get out of here. God bless and have a great weekend. HT, out.